One of the most important sensors in an EFI system is the oxygen sensor. Phytech EFI systems require one or two sensors depending on the system that's on the vehicle. In the application behind us, the system is using one O2 sensor on the driver's side bank and we're going to check and make sure that the exhaust is completely sealed. Something like an exhaust leak at the header flange, a collector flange, or somewhere else in the exhaust can throw off the readings of the O2 sensor. The job of that sensor is to read presence of oxygen coming out of the combustion chambers of each cylinder on that bank of the engine. So if you have an exhaust leak, that's going to throw into account on that O2 sensor and it's going to give a false, read, uh, false lean reading. Now, we're going to do a test by doing a smoke test where we're going to plug off the exhaust of the vehicle and we're going to fill it full of smoke and see if smoke comes out anywhere in the exhaust. If it does, we know we have a leak there and it's something to address. So here we have our smoke machine. We got it hooked up to a battery supply right now, but the smoke machine has a hose for compressed air that we blow in. That's what's gonna force the smoke into the exhaust. But then we have our exhaust tube that we have routed up and over to our left exhaust pipe since this is where our O2 sensor is. Now I just got the tube going into the open end of the exhaust and I got it taped with some duct tape to seal it nice and tight to the opening. At this point, we're gonna fire up our smoke machine. We're gonna turn on airflow and we're basically gonna let the exhaust start to fill up over here and see where smoke comes out. I already see some smoke, so let's go check it out. All right, so here we are. We're at a V-band right in front of the muffler and we can see smoke coming out and around it. This would tell us that we have a leak in the exhaust right in front of the muffler. Uh, being that this is a V-band, we could just take the V-band off, clean the surface, make sure the welds are good and that there's no issues and probably clamp it together. It's probably nothing more than the V-band being loose. Now the big thing here is we have a lot of exhaust pipes still about three feet before we get to the O2 sensor. Any kind of exhaust leak that's down past the O2 sensor, as long as it's more than 18 inches past it, it's not gonna impact how that sensor reads. So let's travel down further, see if we could find any closer um, sources of smoke where the O2 sensor is. All right, so here we are up to the O2 sensor. We got the O2 sensor bung welded on and we're not seeing any smoke around this area. Even traveling up to where the collector flange is, this is a real common spot for exhaust leaks. So this flange is looking pretty good. I don't see any smoke coming around. So we're good from 18 inches after the O2 sensor. And now we're gonna work our way all the way up and we're gonna peek up into the exhaust and see at anywhere in the primary tubes that there's any smoke. And I'm not seeing anything quite yet and I'm not even sure if we're going to see anything. It looks pretty clean up there. So in this application we got no smoke upstream of the O2 sensor. That means no exhaust leaks and our only exhaust leaks are well past 18 inches past the exhaust. So here we are up at the O2 sensor. I'm not seeing any leaking around where the welds are, where the O2 bung is. So that's really good there. Then we come up to our collector flange. This collector flange is usually where most exhaust leaks come from. Either that or up at the headers where they bolt to the heads. This one looks clean. I don't see any streaking of soot and I see absolutely no smoke. So I know that this collector flange is nice and tight. Now I'll just quickly look up to the primary tubes up to the header flange. I got a little bit of light going and I'm not seeing any smoke whatsoever upstream, so that's fantastic. What this is basically saying is this exhaust is nice and tight and we're sure that that O2 sensor is gonna read proper exhaust gases out of the cylinders. Now we do have an exhaust leak, but that is well past the 18 inches past that O2 sensor right in front of the, the muffler itself. So I'm not too concerned about it as far as making a reading issue, but I do want to cure that because I don't want any kind of exhaust um, sounds coming out from it, like a blown out gasket. So 
We're gonna patch that up, we're gonna drop the car back down, and we're gonna be all set with knowing that our O2 sensor is getting a proper reading. So that finishes it for us. We went through the exhaust, we found any kind of leaks, we had nothing that would have caused any type of issue for the O2 sensor. I hope this video kind of described how an O2 sensor works and why it's so important to make sure it's got a good reading. Now if you still think that you have some sort of a reading issue to that O2 sensor, another possibility that you have is a cylinder misfire, whether that's due to like a burnt plug wire or some other reason. But an easy way to kind of check that on the engine is while it's idling, you can use an infrared temp gun. You can temp out each primary tube of the header as it comes out of the cylinder head and see if they're all roughly the same temperature. If you have one that's way colder, chances are that's the cylinder that's misfiring and you can address that at that time. I hope that answers any questions that you have. If you have any additional questions involving the exhaust or any smoke machine testing that we have, please comment that down below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to any of our videos and be sure to be the first to know when we drop new content.